So we recently had a really fun day here at Periodic Videos when a good friend of our project, Michael Stevens from the channel Vsource, paid a visit. Now Michael was making his own video and I'm sure you've probably already seen that, but he allowed us to film a little bit behind the scenes and maybe show you a few outtakes, a few things you normally wouldn't get to see. First of all, here we are in the lab, with Neil of course, and we're playing with gold. I've got, I've got what they call glove hands. Gloves just fit me like gloves, like a glove. This is a really cool background too. Yeah. This will look really silly, but I think I'm gonna pop into the frame yeah, like yeah, I do. Yeah, yeah. Gold, of course, is famously unreactive, which is why it's such a great way to store your wealth. If you have a bunch of gold laying around, the likelihood that it will dissolve or rust or evaporate is very, <laughs> evaporate? Like, whoever is like, ah, oh, I just can't find anything that won't evaporate. <laughs> in particular, one discovered in the 1300s with the fancy name Aqua Regia. It's made out of hydrochloric acid and nitric acid, and we're about to make some right now, thanks to Neil from Periodic Videos. Wow. Fumes that came off the nitric acid. What, what was that? What gas? Of course, we're using this fume cupboard because the fumes that come off the nitric acid are quite dangerous. Let's put some gold in aqua regia. And for the gold, um, we're just gonna use this ancient priceless Egyptian relic. Let's go ahead and try this out. All right, let's chuck it in there. I can, can I do it? Yeah. yeah. Here we go. Yep. Gold in aqua regia. Oh, that poor guy. And as the gold dissolves, what we wind up with in the evaporating dish is chlorooric acid. I thought it was way more violent than it was going to be. I thought it would sit there and we would say, well, okay, we'd leave, come back, and not know if someone had just taken it. <laughs> but no, that thing bubbled and, and struggled for its life and flopped around like a, like a dying fish. It was almost kind of sad. Next, we turned our attention to sulfur. And of course, one of our favorite reactions here at Periodic Videos, the barking dog. Which means it's gonna bark. That'll be what I say. Okay, Let's just go, I mean. Of course, a fun thing to do with sulfur is to make it bark like a dog. Here's what we're gonna do. Obviously, I'm, I'm, I'm nervous, but I'm trying to show my bravery on camera. The camera adds 15 pounds and it adds a bunch of bravery. If I was doing this alone, I'd probably have Brady do it. <laughs> How can you tell when it's, there's enough? It looks like heat ripples, you oh, know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just nervous about the noise. You know, I was the kind of kid who loved fireworks, but not the kind that went up and, and went, just made a noise. Of course, I'm liking them more as I, as I mature. I'm also liking deep bass in my music. I think it's related. Wow. <laughs> and look at all the sulfur on the sides of the tube. Mm, I can smell it. Reminds me of my father. What? <laughs> my father's a sulfur engineer. He, 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 I mean, my goodness, he's a sul the sulfur king. What'd you think? Well, at first I was like, nothing's happening. This is so easy. And then it got really loud. And loud like bass drum in a marching band next to you loud. Not ouch, more like, whoa, I'm glad I didn't have to go to the bathroom. Look at that. There you go. That's great. Next cab off the rank was the element vanadium and a reaction I hadn't actually seen before up close involving colour changes and oxidation states. Here's what we got up to. Uh, huh. And then you could hand me the jar and I'll say, we're just kidding, this is yeah. an aqueous solution of vanadium metal. Yeah. Alright then. Uh, okay. In this jar is zinc dissolved in mercury. It's metal, it's, it's heavier than you would think, which is a really cool feeling. 
And when we mix vanadium in with the mercury and the zinc, the mercury helps the zinc give electrons to the vanadium. And as it gains more and more electrons, it changes color. That's the wrong stopper. All right, so I'm gonna give it one shake. Mmm. Another shake. Wow. This is a different blue, right? Mm-hmm. It's a pretty forest green. I love shaking this. It's crazy. It's like throwing me off balance. It's so heavy. Look at that. Thank you, electrons. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't sure. I think I put in the right amount. And lastly, the metal cerium, which we ordered in specially from our friends at Sigma Aldrich and Michael put into a Bunsen burner. Can you see the word cerium? Uh, I can if you get turned towards me a bit. This is powdered cerium, a metal that when exposed to a flame produces a very beautiful sparkle. I think we should take a look. Ta-da, science. Thank you, electrons. <laughs> There's always. <laughs> cool, man. That's great. That's great. That's it. Now, with all the elements and all the reactions we could have done, you're probably wondering, why did we choose these ones? And a lot of you have probably already figured out. If you take the symbols of all these elements, AU for gold, S for sulfur, V for vanadium, and CE for cerium, and you do a bit of rearranging, you get Vsauce, and that's the name of Michael's channel, so we thought he'd like that. And then when we finished, I took Michael along to the professor's lab. Now the professor was out, the two have met before, but the professor wasn't in Nottingham that day, but he had left a gift that he wanted passed on especially. The famous ties, can I touch them? You can touch the ties. Maybe some of his style will rub off on me. Well, we've gone one better, because Martin was really sorry he couldn't be here, but he asked that I give you one of one of his collection as well. No so, way. So this is from you, from the professor. That's one of his. That's one of his periodic table ties. He knows you're a casual dresser, but maybe one day you'll find an excuse to wear one. Well, this is this is not just nice. This, this is an honor. So thank you very much, uh, Professor Polyakov. I I don't know if I should frame it or or just wear it every day. And thanks to Michael for paying a visit. It was really good to have him and show him around the lab. We'll be back again soon with more of our usual videos. <laughs>